A massive fire ripped through the dorm of an internationally known golf and tennis prep school in Pasco County. 28 boarding students were inside at the time, but were all able to get out safely. News Channel H Jeff Patterson is live outside the Saddlebrook Golf and Tennis Resort right now. And Jeff, it sounds like that had to be a pretty scary situation for those students. Yeah, certainly. Good evening, Jen. They were very, very fortunate here. One student woke up, smelled smoke, and alerted others. This fire happened at 2.30 in the morning when the other students were sleeping. Eagle 8 HD was the first helicopter on scene as 55 firefighters worked to put out the blaze. Some crews as far away as Trinity and Landa Lakes. On the ground, the Pasco County Fire Department provided us these images and told us a recent update in the building prevented greater loss. The building was renovated two years ago. It was renovated, it was renovated to some new fire codes, so there were some fire stops in the common attic space, which really uh, stopped the fire, so it just concentrated the fire right there in the middle of the building. The building serves as a dorm for boarding students at the Saddlebrook Preparatory School. Somehow, in the middle of the night, one student woke up and smelled smoke. He smelled smoke, so he kind of went outside, looked up and saw smoke, and from that point on, he just kicked into what we train every month. The student then woke up others. Got all the other students up and alert and awake and was going door to door, got all his friends out. The students at the prep school are training with the hope of becoming professional athletes in golf or tennis. A video from the school on YouTube shows students on the courts, on the course, and in the classroom. These are top-notch uh, aspiring professional athletes that come to Saddlebrook to get the, the entire experience. They, they get their sport, they get their education, they get a resort atmosphere all under one roof. Yeah, and they got a little fire experience today, too. The Pasco County Fire uh, Department is working to establish the cause of this fire. They've been concentrating on one area of the building. They ruled out some possible causes, but they're not yet ready to release their findings, Jeff. Time will tell. Jeff Patterson, live in Pasco County. Thanks, Jeff.